hey guys welcome back so in this video I will tell you how to store a variable at the global level and we can do that through the use of system class by calling set property and get property so first I will write the code and then I will explain what are set property and the get property method okay so what I will do let me just clear the logs and here I will type system dot set property so you have to make sure you select set properties not set properties okay and here I can give some key so I can give count as my key and I will keep it value as 3 okay so I'm just keeping a random value for this key now I will call one program called print Okay, so this is a custom method which I am calling and it will tell me to create that method. So that is fine. And I am typing system.out.println. Okay, and here what I want to do, I will again call my system class dot get property. Okay, and here I need to give my key. All right. So now if you first will run this program and see the output. So it has written three. Okay. So what has happened when I call system dot set property. So once you call this command, it will set the key and the value pair in the memory. Okay. And that key and value will remain till the time your program is running. Okay, and you can use that key and value anytime anywhere in your program so it doesn't matter if you call from you know one Java file or the other Java file till the time your program is running it will be able to find that key and value and it is of a great use when we are working on any project it is one of the important concepts in which if you want to save some kind of a variable at the global level so that you can use it later on in your uh, selenium code so just remember we will be heavily using this uh, key value pair on the global uh, on the global label when we were working on the frameworks all right so if you have an issue let me know and if you like the video please hit the like button and click on subscribe button thank you